Hey, what's up guys and gals? It's the Tyrant here. Happy Monday to you. So last week we talked a little bit about uh, 343 Industries and they had come out about E3 and what they're doing there. Not really fully, but they really said what they're not doing there, which is Halo 6. They're not showcasing Halo 6 at, at uh, E3 this year. And we theorized, you know, based off of that, which is unusual because usually they uh, release a, at least a teaser trailer in the E3 the year before the game is released. So since they're not doing that, there's a pretty good chance that the game might be delayed. I'm not saying a full year just you know enough to give it enough time to have more buff and shine so we don't have a repeat of halo 5 guardians most of you saw that as a good thing and i do appreciate that and i'm sure 343 does too obviously we want to, we want to complete halo 6 we want a great halo 6 but that was not the only information they dropped they also told us about halo 3 anniversary this has been going back and forth for a while a lot of people have said hey you know it's it's going to happen it's not going to happen and they finally confirmed last week sketch specific specifically from 343 Industries that there is no Halo 3 anniversary, period. So that is the actual news, but we need to dive into this a little bit more because I know there's a lot of people confused out there. I know there's some people who don't believe 343 Industries. So let's talk about this a little bit and break this down. Now, some people aren't sure whether or not this is a good or bad thing. I'm actually for not having a Halo 3 anniversary, at least not any time in the near future. A lot of people say that's heresy and that I'm against Halo 3 anniversary. No, that is That could not be further from the truth. Most of you who've known me for a while know that Halo 3 is hands down my favorite game. And not only that, it's how I got my start in the Halo community. It's what actually brought me to the table to begin with. So, you know, Halo 3 is what I call home. It's not just my favorite Halo game. It's my favorite game of all time. Obviously, if there was a Halo anniversary be to be made, I would be first in line to get it. Trust me, even if I had to push some people out of the way with my cane. So I, I would love to see one. I just don't think this is the right time for it. And I'll go into that in a little bit. But the main reason why people think that this in spite of 343 saying, you know, there's not going to be one, that even with them saying that there still is going to be one is in reference to what Frankie said in regards to Halo 2 anniversary. And I've had this echoed throughout a couple of videos that I've made. And the main reason I'm actually taking this video beyond the news is because last year I made two videos talking about Halo 3 anniversary and how it probably wasn't going to be made. And even to this day, I still get comments on those videos that say, I think you're wrong. They said the same thing about Halo anniversary. 2, or I'm sorry, Halo 2 Anniversary, and I'm going to tell you why this is different. So when people made references of 343, you know, talking about Halo 2 Anniversary not coming out and so forth, I decided to do as much research on this as possible because I had heard this too, and of course they turned around and eventually did it, kind of, sort of. Remember, they didn't release a regular Halo 2 Anniversary, it was just Halo 2 being buffed up within the Master Chief Collection. The Master Chief Collection was the overall game, and Halo 2 Anniversary was one of the selling points. So when I went back and looked, and I tried to do as much research on this as I could. Maybe some of you can find something that I missed. But what I found was only one quote from Frankie back in the NeoGAF forums that said that they no one was currently working on Halo 2 Anniversary. By the way, this post that he did was done in May of 2013. So that was a year and a half before the release of the Master Chief Collection and a little over a year before it was actually debuted at E3 2014. So I honestly, genuinely believe that he was not lying or trying to trick anybody at the time. And honestly, I think Master Chief Collection was probably at least in the thought process when he made that statement, but that Halo 2 Anniversary was an afterthought. They saw the demand for it and they said, hey, how can we sell the same Halo games for Xbox One? You know what? People have been asking for a Halo 2 Anniversary. Let's put that in there and keep that as the main focus so we can make this a selling point for the Master Chief Collection. So no, I don't think he was lying. I just honestly genuinely believe that there was no Halo 2 Anniversary in the works at that time. And what they said about Halo 2 Anniversary is very different than what we're seeing now. They didn't just say that no one's working on it currently. They flat out said it's not happening and gave actual good reasons for it. Most of them pertaining to financial reasons. They didn't think it'd be fiscally beneficial to them. And that does make sense when you stop and think about it. And you're probably wondering why, why how is that the case? Halo 3 was the best-selling Halo game of all time. And you're not wrong there. I checked the numbers. Granted, some of these are probably a little bit dated. But in fact, Halo 3 was the only game of the entire series to break over 10 million sales. Currently, it's at over 12 million. Um, so I do understand the perspective of that. Obviously, it's a hot cake game. You would think that the anniversary would sell that way too. But keep in mind, they thought the same thing about Halo Anniversary and the Master Chief Collection. And those numbers are drastically different. If you look at the charts here, and I'm going to throw some numbers up here for you. And like I said, these might be a little bit dated at this point. But the Master Chief Collection and Halo Anniversary have the lowest numbers of any title released by Bungie or 
Earth 343 Industries. Obviously, we're excluding Halo Wars here because it was made by Ensemble Studios. But even then, Halo Wars did better than Halo Anniversary. I mean, think about that for a second. Halo Combat Evolved was a platinum hit. You would think an anniversary edition, an edition which upgraded the graphics for 10 years, would be a hot selling item, but it wasn't. And a lot of people are going to argue that there are a lot of flaws with these games, and I do understand that. With Halo Anniversary, one of the major flaws that we saw there was that it didn't have its own multiplayer. It was essentially Reach multiplayer, but at the same time, it was made to be made in the classic playlist, so there were no armor abilities or anything like that, and the maps were all remakes of Halo Combat Evolved maps. So in the in its sense, it did have multiplayer with it, just maybe not what most people were expecting. When I looked at Halo 2 Anniversary and the Master Chief Collection, most of the complaints resolved around revolved around multiplayer. Now, I actually went and checked the list here over at uh, uh, Halo Waypoint, and there are a lot of glitches in there. A lot of these are technical related, but personally, most of these I've never experienced, or they never stood out to me the way they do for these folks here in the forums. And I'll be honest with you, looking at all these, to me, Halo Wars 2 was far buggier than the Master Chief Collection. Now, I know some of you don't believe that to be true, and I know that a lot of the bugs that were revolved around the Master Chief Collection had to do with multiplayer and people not being able to join matches and stuff like that, and I totally understand that. But since I didn't play it till later, by the time I actually started uh, getting into the multiplayer side of it, they'd already fixed at least a good portion of those, so I didn't have any real wait times. I actually checked it out earlier today just to see, and there are wait times, but I think that has to do with more of the fact the game's almost three years old now, so that's part of it right there. But when I loaded up Halo Combat Evolved for Master Chief Collection, I got thrown into a match instantly. Not so much the case with Halo 3. So, and I'll be honest with you, I mean, I was a little bit disappointed to see that there were so many complaints about it. I do understand the multiplayer aspect of it. You know, not being able to join games right away is certainly frustrating, especially for a new game. But at the same time, looking through all what is available in the Master Chief Collection, I was very impressed. You know, you had four games there. So even if the multiplayer wasn't working for you, you had four games, including Halo 2 Anniversary, that were all running at 60 frames per second, and you could at least play those at the time. And it's important to know this because when we think of anniversary editions for Halo games, usually that revolves around the campaign. So if you aren't playing the campaign, what are you doing? Keep in mind, like I said, Halo Anniversary didn't have custom multiplayer for that game. And of course, Halo 2 Anniversary did, but only a few million people bought the game. That's not that big of a deal. So when I ask why you want Halo 3 Anniversary, I feel like a lot of that's towards nostalgia, and I don't blame you. Trust me, that was a golden era for Bungie. But keep in mind, only half of that was the game. The other half was Bungie.net and the community and all the cool stuff you could have do with your file share and being able to render videos on their site and having Bungie select them and doing features around them and all that good stuff. I mean, keep in mind, Bungie was the other half of why it was so great. But in addition to that, keep in mind, this was the close to a very infamous trilogy and technically the second half to the story of Halo 2. So I imagine there were a lot of people who wanted to play that in addition to what was already there. But let's back up for a second and see what the argument is for Halo 3 Anniversary. First of all, yes, they've done it for the last couple of games, but would they do one for Halo 3? Would it be good? Now, the first major argument I get, as we mentioned earlier, is that it was the best-selling Halo game and that that would allow legacy players to come back and make them feel more welcome in the community. The problem with that statement is even though they're right and it was a popular game, would they really come back? Because the numbers I see from Halo the Master Chief Collection don't reflect that. Keep in mind that, yes, while I do realize that the multiplayer was sort of a bust upon release, it is fine now. And while they were fixing that, yes, you could still technically play the campaigns and be mostly fine. But considering that it is fine for the most part now, they still have some bugs, but it's fine now. Why aren't people getting it now? Why aren't people jumping in? Because it has Halo 3 multiplayer. Granted, it doesn't have as many options as Halo 3 did. Basically, that's one thing I think that the Master Chief Collection could have improved on, but at the same time, I see why they didn't, because if they had too many playlists, you wouldn't have many people per playlist, and now I'm starting to ramble a little bit. But you get the idea. It does exist in the game. There are people still there. So if people want to play this so bad, why are they not playing it? Which gets to my second point. The Master Chief Collection numbers are dwindling, and of course, that would bring another surge to Halo 3. Again, that is understandable since the game is now two and a half years old, and of course, Halo 3 itself is almost 10 years old. But the question is, even if it does bring people back, how long will that last? I can't imagine it being la or lasting for more than three to six months, mainly because this is a game that's already been out before. If people want to play it, they still can. So I don't 
see an anniversary edition really changing that aspect of it. Now, my reason for going against it is because I want them to concentrate fully on Halo 6 or whatever the next major Halo title is. To me, I want a better Halo 6 than just a repeat of game we already have. That's not to say that they can't do a Halo 3 anniversary later down the road, but for right now, I want them to put their, all their focus on that. One of my theories is why Halo 5 is so bad or not as good as it could be is because keep in mind, between Halo 4 and Halo 5, they released three other games. They released Halo Spartan Assault, Halo Spartan Strike, and the Master Chief Collection. Now you can sit here and argue that yes, other companies worked on those games in addition to Microsoft, but if you think Microsoft was out of the loop on them, no, that is not the case. These guys aren't Bungie. They didn't just hand these guys the keys and say, run with it. No, Microsoft is overseeing all of this. But in addition to the games, they came out with two movies. Granted, one came out shortly before Halo 4 and several books. So they have been extremely busy instead of focusing on one point. This is where Bungie took the lead because they didn't do all that stuff. Yes, they wrote a few books, but not a ton of them. And they didn't release any games between the AAA titles. The one exception here is between Halo 3 and Halo Reach. And arguably, Halo Reach was not as good as Halo 3 or the previous games. There are a lot of people out there who say, no, it had more features and everything than everything else, or the, all the other games out there. And you're right, it did. But personally, I thought that it wasn't as well done. The graphics didn't seem as polished. They were recycling a lot of maps from campaign, which even if you like that, that's great, but it just lacked originality. And I feel like it was sort of just being rushed to get that final game out the door before handing the keys over to Microsoft. So honestly, I believe that Halo 6 will be a better game if they just hold off on Halo 3 anniversary. Again, I'm not saying that they shouldn't do it at all. I'm saying that it should wait. And there's been evidence that they are interested in doing something like this. We saw Halo Online appear a couple of years ago, and that's basically Halo 3 PC, but a much watered down and unpolished version of it. If that actually came to fruit, that would be wonderful. And I can see them integrating a Halo 3 anniversary with that. Just think of it for a second. Halo 3 anniversary available for Xbox One, maybe even Scorpio, and PC for Windows 10. That would be amazing. And I'd rather than take the extra time to do that and get it right than to make another mess with like Halo Anniversary or, ha or Halo the Master Chief Collection, which honestly, I enjoyed both those games, but a lot of people didn't. So if they go the extra mile and have a little extra buff and shine on the final product, we might have a better product rather than, than spreading themselves so thin as we've seen in the past. We need to see a change over at 343 Industries. We don't need to see them making the same mistakes over and over again. And for me, as, as long as they're doing this, it seems like they're making improvements with pushing off Halo 6 a little bit. If they do the same with Halo 3 Anniversary, we could see a massive turnaround in this company. Again, I know there are a lot of people out there who say it's going to happen this year. And don't get me wrong, it's not 100% impossible despite the fact that they've been echoing over and over again that it's not going to happen. But I feel like the folks who are still hanging on to it remind me a little bit of Bernie Sanders supporters after Hillary Clinton unfortunately became the Democratic nominee and they're still thinking that Bernie could become president. I think they're in the kind of the same category. In other words, it's not impossible, but it is extremely unlikely. It's a very big long shot in that area. Again, I think at some point in time, Halo 3 Anniversary will be a thing. I just don't think we're going to be seeing that anytime soon. But that is the news that I have for you today. I'm sorry that was a bit long-winded. I hope that it gives you guys some information, and I hope it's something that you can see as a potential good thing instead of a negative. And remember, for those who still think it might happen, keep in mind we're already in May of this year. We have seen nothing, no leaks, no, no anything on Halo 3 Anniversary as opposed to Halo 2 Anniversary, where Steve Downs, the voice of the Master Chief himself, actually said it before they announced it at E3. We've seen nothing of the sort and it's only about four months or so, four or five months until September, which is the 10th anniversary of Halo 3. So I don't think we're going to see it this year. I hope you can see that as a good thing. So let me know in the comments below. I want to hear specifically from you at this point. Now that you've heard all this, would you rather them wait on a Halo 3 anniversary until after they've done Halo 6 so we can have a better Halo 6 and just have two really awesome games in general? Or what is your personal take on it? You can let me know in the comments below or hit me up on both Facebook and Twitter. Honestly, I lean towards more Twitter, so forget the Facebook part. Just follow me on Twitter. Links to my social media can be found in the description. And if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button for more video game related content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here on MythicTower.com. Stay tuned every Monday for more updates on E3 2017. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Have a great week. Thanks for watching, guys and gals. And as always, I'm the Tyrant signing off.